boat. this if you can. Dodge this if you can. Get stronger. Ooh, my level went up. I'm stronger. Level up. Just a random thought. Kampa, what happened with your school? Heard about them reopening or whatever? I totally forgot about that. I'm sure they haven't. Monsters are still all over Planetune. But, uh, how would they get a hold of you if your phone only works on Planetune? Oh, shucks, you're right! I've got no bars! I wouldn't know if they tried to call me home! <laughs> what do I do now? Am I... Am I gonna get held back? There, there. You said yourself monsters are still present. That's why the school was closed down, right? What about your phones, Iffy? Don't any of those work anywhere? Can you let Kampa use one? Oh, hell no. These are guild property. They won't connect to anything but other guild phones. Oh, but I know someone in Planetune. Let me text and ask. Nice. Quick response. It says none of the schools have opened up, see? But if you want to go back to the school, I'm not against it. I wouldn't want your nurse skills to get rusty. I'm okay. My grades will never get lower than they are now. No worries. That's nice. Iffy sure is being 
a slow poke with her shopping. Maybe she couldn't find a store. Should we order some pizza? Iffy is out getting us food. Let's just be patient and wait for her. Do you want to call her and ask where she is? You've got a cell phone? Iffy looks like she has a lot. So... I'm the only party member without one? Mm-hmm. Cell phones are seen as advanced outside of Planetune. Aw, oh, boo! I don't get service on Leanbox unless I pay a fee. Maybe Iffy's is special? I've seen her get calls before, so... What if it's an adult walkie-talkie instead? I don't think that's very likely. This is poison, isn't it? It's purple and bubbly. I would think even Nep would notice this right away. The Archbishop said a drop of this could take down a giant enemy crab. Oh, I can't do it. It's not right for me, a mere human, to see a goddess to begin with. I just hope I'll be forgiven. Hey, I'm back. Seems like Tuna Mayo doesn't exist on Leanbox. Huh? Hey! brought us some food. You ordered it for us, didn't you? <laughs> she started before you got back. Wait! Don't eat that! I know it's too late, but... Put those utensils down! Nap, nap. Getting the itis already? You'll become a pig, you know. They say obesity is the source of all ills. That's not the issue here. Is this what Nep ate? You didn't eat it, did you, Comp? Nope. They said it was made just for our cute little Nep Nep. Um... What's... I don't know. Can you look her over? I think she may have been poisoned. Poisoned? Why would anybody... We must get her an antidote. No! A panacea! I... Don't move, Miss I.F. Please step away from those tainted girls. Arrest those two No! You're behind this? What's happening? I thought you ordered me to do- What are you accusing me of? Was it not you who sneaked the poison into the food after talking with Lady Green? Thank you. Though you are a dirty guild member, your loyalty to Leanbox's CPU- What? No! What are you accusing me of? Fool! You're no different than the other heretical immoral scum. Take her and... It's so dark. How long have we been here? About three days. Jeez, never expected to be so grateful for my cell's LCD screen. We'll go insane in this darkness. We are not the only ones suffering. Nep Nep's body temperature is going down. She won't make it much longer. You girls still alive? Hey! <laughs> Who's there? Help us! We're here! Hold on. I'm going to help you get out right now. Your friend is sleeping in another room where a doctor is looking after her. She's still breathing, so she's fine for now. Why did you help us? Can I introduce myself first? I'm Jad, one of the aristocrats. Why did you help us? Jeez, the suspicion doesn't end, huh? I get it. Don't worry, just don't stare at me with those cute, angry faces. I helped because I felt bad for you. The teachings of the aristocrats have always encouraged helping the helpless. You still seem unconvinced. I don't intend to hide anything. Someone tried to poison us. Nep Nep is sick as a puppy, and we were in a dark prison. I don't know what to think. This is starting to get to me, too. Leanbox has a dark underbelly. 
Just tell us why you helped, really. There's no other reason, if anything, because this can be traced back to the Basilicon. The Basilicon and aristocrats don't get along. They honor their beliefs while we honor pride. We're in the middle of plotting a coup d'etat against them, specifically the Sanctuary. I ran into you three while scouting the Sanctuary's lower levels. I'd like you to meet our leader before I speak any more. Nep-Nep is still unconscious. Her pulse is stable, but she really does need an antidote. About that poison, it's ancient. I had to look through records a century old to identify it. Who knows where that Archbishop found it? It was a lot of work to find an antidote recipe for it. At least it wasn't Planetune's bioweapon. If we can get the ingredients, I'll synthesize the antidote. No alchemy, please. We just get the ingredients, let Kampa prepare the antidote, and everything will be rosy. It's not that simple. Shops won't carry what's necessary to combat such an ancient poison. We must gather the ingredients. I see no alternative. Kampa, can you stay here and keep an eye on Nep? No! Do you even know what you're looking for? I'll be fine. I have my methods. I'll call if I have any questions. Why don't you go together? I'll watch over Neptune. I've informed Sir Turquois to reschedule the meeting already. Will you trust me? Fine. We'll be back as soon as possible. Please take care of Nep Nep until then. Gathering complete. I'm glad just the right number were kept in a single dungeon. know about the key fragments. I can't think of anyone but you, Istoir. You lied to my face. You were contacting the CPUs while I was gone. Admit it! How many? How many of the CPUs know about the key fragments? How many exist? How much do they know about the Evangelist, the monsters, the Overlord? Answer me! Fine. You've no intention to speak? So I must silence that useless mouth. What with the shouting and giggling. Morning, Nep. You've slept for quite a while. Huh? No, I got all woozy and sick to my tummy. I just had a weird dream to top it off. I'm joking. You wouldn't know what we had to go through while you slept, huh? Are you hungry, Nep Nep? I'm 
sure you feel weak from sleeping for so long. You should have a great big meal. Hmm, yes, I agree. I think the best thing to do is eat for the next day or two. Saved these beautiful young maidens from the Basilicom. Like father, like son. I'm proud of you. Who's this old fart? Can you keep it down? Where are we anyway? This is my house. That is my adoptive father and leader of the aristocrats, Sir Turquois. I brought you here from the Basilicom's basement holding cell. I'm Jad. Nice to meet you. Did you help us? Nap is up now, so hurry and explain yourself. Allow me. I want you girls to be our sexy mascot app. What's all this hubbub? What sort of ally is that? Nap Nap doesn't know what's going on since she's been sleeping this whole time. Could you please explain? Ten years ago, a great war waged on Leanbox. The Basilicon Schism. The Parliament's revolution. At the time, the Parliament tried to gain total control by gathering heretics in an attempt to raid the Basilicons. We, the aristocrats, defeated them under the aegis of the sanctuary. The heretics escaped, but the goddess gave us honor. However, the sanctuary the current archbishop doesn't want to admit there was any kind of revolution at all. He burned all the records and prohibited publicizing any information on it. He even tried to revoke our leader's honor. So that's why you want to make us sexy mascot allies? To fight Basilicon? We can't do that! I thank you for helping us, but we can't possibly fight the Basilicon! I understand where Sir Turquois is coming from, but I can't let them get involved either. Those able to fight monsters are a rare find. You girls are brave, beautiful, and we've both been hurt by the Basilicon. While that's true, and I don't intend to forgive them for it, we can't fight humans no matter how evil they are. But we've beaten people up before, right? That's because they attacked first. We had no choice. I've already told them I didn't save them in exchange for anything. Just let it go this time, please. How about this? Why not help us in a different, less sexy mascot way? Your job would be limited to fighting monsters. What say you? So you want to be our client? If it's a job fighting monsters, then I guess we have no reason to turn you down. In that case, just keep us out of any conflicts involving the Basilicon. I give my word. Your jobs will be mere support. There will be no direct involvement whatsoever. This is a very old trading route. It's been rife with monsters ever since a new route was constructed. We need as much weaponry as possible to carry on an armed revolt against the unsexy Basilica. In order to transport them out of the Basilicom's view, a path like this would be perfect. That said, I need you girls to eliminate the monster threat around here. I'm depending on... Sir Turquois can be demanding at times. How did you girls fare? I bet it was difficult. Who the hell are you? Listen to you. I know we just met, but is that any way to talk to a lady? That voice? N Neptune? Wait, I need confirmation. Where are the other two? They're resting. Anyway, I heard you intend to use that pathway to transport weaponry. Hmm. Are you interested in weapons? Sounds like you're the same excitable Neptune inside. I can't say much. Wait here. This is a weapon manufactured by Avenir. 
a major company in last station. It's far more advanced than Leanbox's weaponry. I heard Basilicom's prohibited trade between landmasses, since the standards vary greatly between them. Sure, so they say. I have a friend working at this particular company. Avenir doesn't approve of weapons for human use, but my friend helps me make things that are. You think this is acceptable? This isn't something that should be overlooked. You come across a little more intimidating in that form, huh? Well, I'm not doing this just to waste my time. It's no secret, but if you're going to interfere, I'll have my way. This is only until the Basilicom understand. This is for you, from the Basilicom. A letter? Hmm, didn't I get one like this before? Whoa, maybe it's an invitation to another awesome party! I'm not certain about the party, but it seems they want to apologize for the whole poison scandal. They want you to go and speak with their goddess directly. Hey, how'd you know what it says? You shouldn't read someone else's mail. It's a capital offense with a capital O. As mentioned earlier, we oppose the Basilicom. We can't let any trivial matters slow. Apology? I see. I'm sure the goddess didn't do anything. We should talk to her to make sure- Are you joking? They tried to kill one of you, and you're willing to return? You shouldn't take them so lightly. That's right. They've proven they're not afraid to break the rules. What if they go even further this time? I'll make sure Nep Nep doesn't shove any foreign objects in her mouth. Plus, I'm sure they wouldn't do anything so vile in front of their goddess. I can tell Leanbox has a lot of money backing it up. That aside, where's the goddess? I really want to meet her. I hope they won't pull any crap like before. Should we prepare an escape route in case of an emergency? Hey, look! Is that her? She's gotta be a goddess. I can so tell. to meet you. I'm the CPU for Leanbox, Greenheart. Thank you for taking the time to visit us today. I apologize for the wrongdoings, Neptune. I can't believe our Basilicom would do that. It's my fault for being too lazy. Seems like someone told the Archbishop about the console war. C console war? What's that? Um, well, it's nice to meet you, Lady Greenheart. Are you putting on a show for me? Ah, oh, your friends are here too. Know this, I don't intend to involve humans in our quarrel either. Um, Lady Greenheart, we're looking for a specific item called a key fragment. Oh? Oh my, Iffy, you're here too? What did I tell you about being so formal around me? Are you traveling with Neptune? I must admit, I'm a little envious. That's right, you're a goddess. I bet you don't have time to travel around, even if you wanted to. That's not really it. What's this about a key fragment? We're hunting high and low for one. It's guarded by a tough beastie, so we wanted to know if you had any ideas about that. Um, I'm rather sheltered, so I don't know much about the world. However, the Evangelist may know something. Will you come here and speak with them? I'm the Evangelist, Conversacion. We met once before. We did, we did! When we first got here, I thought your voice sounded familiar. So, Miss Convis... Um... Miss Convy, we're looking for clues about a key fragment. Do you know of any strong monsters nearby? As I said last time, I've never heard of such a thing. But I did pass by a really strange dungeon earlier. Like how? Did it smell? Were there weird colors? Glowy symbols? Was it locked? I can't think of the word to describe it, but it was just a little... off. 
I'll show you the way if you'd like. This is the dungeon I mentioned. Please be careful, since the monsters do seem rather vicious. We'll be fine. We ain't scared of no monsters. Just watch. I'll transform, roll out, and blast them all into cubes of energy. Shh. But that's right. Nepnep is... I don't know, but she's a little special when compared to normal people. We're not heroes or anything, but we aren't amateurs either. Great. I'd love to see this transformation, but I'm not a fighter, so I'll excuse myself here. Oh, you're not gonna fight with us? Evangelists sound like hardcore magic caster summoning types. Unfortunately, maybe I'll be able to show off the next time we meet. However, that might not even happen. Whoa! What now? Earthquake? The entrance is going bye-bye! Ah! Ah! No good. It's shut tight. What do we do? Are we buried alive? Conserve oxygen! Are we dead? Is this purgatory? Sounds like fun. Can't we just explore and find another way out? Your optimism is reassuring in situations like this. Let's go before Kampa starts to crop. 